In this video, we'll investigate a more complicated linear equation. Let's take a look. Solve the equation 1 half plus 2 over x equals 3 fourths. So the first thing we might notice in this equation is that it has fractions, which we might not like. But even worse than the fractions is the fact that our x appears in the denominator of one of those fractions. So our first goal will be to fix that. And the way that we're going to fix that problem is by multiplying both sides of our equation by x. When we do this, if we remember to distribute our x across that plus sign inside the parentheses, in other words, multiply the x by both the 1 half and the 2 over x, what will happen is we'll end up with x not being in the denominator anymore. When we multiply x by the 1 half, we just get 1 half x. And when we multiply x by 2 over x, the x's cancel. So we get a new equation, which looks like 1 half x plus 2 equals 3 fourths x. So we still have those fractions that we might not like, but we don't have an x in the denominator anymore. Now we treat this like a normal linear equation. We want to get x by itself, so we'll subtract 3 fourths x from both sides. We'll also subtract 2 from both sides. We'll kill two birds with one stone and we'll try to end up with x by itself. When we do this, the 3 fourths x and the minus 3 fourths x on the right hand side cancel and the plus 2 and the minus 2 on the left hand side cancel. So what do we do with the 1 half x minus 3 fourths x? Well, doing a little bit of fraction math, 1 half minus 3 fourths is the same as 2 fourths minus 3 fourths, and that gives me negative 1 fourth. I got a common denominator between those two fractions, and that allows me to combine the two fractions by subtracting their numerators. So now I have an equation that looks like negative 1 fourth x equals negative 2. So we have one more step to get the x by itself. Let's think about how are we going to get rid of that negative 1 fourth. Well, the opposite of multiplying by negative 1 fourth would be to multiply by negative 4. The negative 4 and the negative 1 fourth, when we multiply those together, we get 1, so those cancel. On the left hand side, we'll just have x. And on the right hand side, we have negative 2 times negative 4, which is positive 8. So our solution to our equation is x equals 8.